Hey, our word of the day. Our word of the day comes from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1. And it says, I beseech you, therefore, reverend, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a human sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. You know, when Jesus went to the cross and saved us, we we are no longer, we belong to him. We are to present ourselves wholly upon him. He starts the sanctifying works. When we come to Christ, it's not about us. It's all about him. Let's read verses one and two. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a human sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what that good an acceptable and perfect will of God. What is good and acceptable in the perfect will of God? You know, God tells us we may live in this world, but we definitely are not of this world. We don't put our trust in man. We don't rely on man to take care of us. We don't, we don't, we don't do any of those things that the world tells us that we should do. We walk according to God's will and whatever God has and whatever God wants, that's what we do. In Deuteronomy 14, 2, it says, for you are a holy people to the Lord your God. And the Lord has chosen you to be a people for himself, a special treasure above all the peoples who are on the face of the earth. Amen. This is who we are. We are chosen treasures of the Lord. We are here to use the gifts that God gave us to bring many to him and to draw them closer. We are to draw ourselves even closer to him, to stay in his word and stay in his spirit. Because this is the will that God has for us. We are his holy people. Amen. And 2 Corinthians 5 verse 20 says, now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, even though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Amen. We are God's ambassadors. We are to do his will. We are to do his work. Once we have given our life to him, he redeemed us. He brought us to the place where we are today. Doesn't mean that we won't have ups and downs and persecutions and struggles because we are on the in this world. We are just not of the world. We don't handle our ways, our issues the way the world does. We surrender and pray and we give it to God. We don't fight our own battle. We don't seek our own revenge. The Bible tells us that we should just walk in love, the love we have for God and just to love people. And God will take care of the rest. We just need to be able to open our hearts and mind and spirit to him. And he blesses us. He takes care of us. All that we have belongs to him. So we have to just do God's work. We have to share. Does that mean going out and standing on the corner or preaching to everyone. No, you will know when God is opening the door for us to share the word. He does it all the time with each and every one of us. We just need to just be the light and just be ready for when that time comes and to share what the Lord put it in our hearts to do. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 to 20, it says, For you do not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own, the spirit that God puts in each and every one of us. 
We are no longer our own. We are not in the darkness anymore. We are children of the light. We belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. For you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Amen. We remember, my brothers and sisters, that we were bought as a Christ. Jesus died for each and every one of us. That we now can glorify him. We can do his will. And he will bless us. Amen. Lord, we just thank you for this word. We thank you for just letting us know who we are. We know, Lord, that we are your hands and feet. We are we are your chosen people. We are special treasures to you. But we know, Lord, that comes at a cost. And that's hard sometimes. And we need your strength, your love, your mercy, and your grace to do your will sometimes. So we just lift, I lift each and every one, everyone here today that you just help us continue to do what you called us to do, continue to do the sanctifying process in each and every one of us to bring us to that place where you finish that work in each and every one of us. Bless our day today, for we, um, we, we glorify you today and help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.